Father. New episodes are available Tuesdays on Hulu. Congratulations on the show. It's a smash. Absolute smash. For anyone who hasn't caught up with it, tell us about the show. Oh, man. I mean, it's about, you know, we're, we're obviously borrowing from the, the way they tell the tale of how I met your mother. Um, and there's lots of little nuggets in there for the hardcore fans, but it's a, it's a new show. It's, a, it's more of like a continuation. And it's people in their 30s trying to find their footing and... And, you know, falling in love with each other and finding who they are. And it obviously takes place in New York, which is the best setting for that kind of thing. For and sure. Yeah, and it's about Sophie. She's like, she believes that true love is out there for her. And that's a very sweet, you know, sentiment in this day and age where you're, like, swipeable and you have limitless options with, like, online dating apps and just the world, like, just constantly downloading information so fast. Yeah. So it's a it's a fun show that that is dealing with modern technology and, and some traditions. And it's doing so well, it's already been renewed for a second season. You, yeah. must, be, you must be absolutely thrilled. You know what? I, I am thrilled. You, you, you pour your heart into something and you believe in something and you hope it works and then people respond to it and now we got picked up for double the order and, and I was so excited and then I was like, oh, that's double the work. Yes. See you, see you kids never. Bye. I'm going to work now. Would you, do you, ever, would you ever want to put the, do the Food Fighters remake a classic TV sitcom, would you ever want to do that? You know, uh, we did have this idea recently where we were going to this formal event and we were flying to it and all of us were sitting on the plane and someone said, uh, well, what are you wearing? I'm like, I don't know, what are you wearing? And everyone was talking about what to wear to this black tie event. And I was like, you know what? One of these days at one of these formal events, we should just go as the cast of Gilligan's Island. Oh, I would because love I mean, that. Because six of us. Why we could wouldn't kind you? Of fill it. it would be amazing. Well, we haven't said no yet. I mean, there's always time. You must. And so we started thinking about, like, okay, well, who, you know, Pat is Mr. Howell. Sure. And Nate is the professor. And Taylor is Ginger, whatever. And so we started thinking about <laughs> how we were going to do this. And then that kind of, like, that snowballed into this idea, like, wait a second, no one's made a Gilligan's Island remake yet? <laughs> I mean, there's oh, like, that's no everybody quickly. remakes all the cool old TV shows from the 80s, 70s. Um, and then I thought, oh, my God, maybe it's a Gilligan's Island remake movie, but it's not only a horror film, it's a musical. <laughs> I love this. I Man, love this. I feel like your brain needs to take a nap. Like, do you ever stop? That. Oh, my God, this <laughs> guy. I thought I was bad. But there's no time. And, and the world well, needs a Gilligan's Island. He's in love with Island. being alive. I'd like <laughs> you to do a concert dressed as the characters from Gilligan's Island. I'd quite like to see that. Wait, are you Is Gilligan? that a dare? Are you Gilligan? Uh, well, you wear the hat? I, I would probably be Gilligan. Well, yeah. gil bucket hats are or the super skipper. chic I don't right know. now. Like, Skipper or Gil I would go Gilligan. I think you'd have yeah. to. You're yeah. the front man. I mean, your first concert was a great first concert. Your first concert was the Spice Girls. My first concert was the Spice Girls. Right? Yeah. yeah. To Super become one, one baby. That's right. What do you remember about that night? Uh, well, I went in a limo. Oh, whoa. Yeah, it was white. A white limo, you guys. I was standing on my chair the whole time. This was like, in the late 90s, yeah. where you could still stand on a chair at a concert uh -huh. and not get yelled at. And I knew every word, and I was dressed as Baby Spice with a lollipop and the pigtails and the like the platforms I got on Melrose and then they did something super risque and took all their clothes off to sing one song and I was like the Spice Girls are naked on stage and it That's was like right. crazy. They sat on backwards chairs. I remember. Yes, they did. You remember, I remember. that? I that did. was a moment, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, Remember that? <laughs> yeah, I was there. Yeah, no, I missed that tour. I think I was on tour. Uh, I was there. Doing I, mean, much I, I, I think things. we were supposed to open the show, but I was there, been... and I was also there at Wembley Stadium to see Foo Fighters. We can like different things, Dave. Yeah. We're two become one. I'm with you, dude. Correct. I'm with you. I would love a Foo Fighters cover of Two Become One. Yeah, me I, too. I, listen, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not kidding. We threatened to do that about 20 years ago. I love that song. What it's a happened? brilliant song. Oh my god, it is. Oh, no, 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 but up oh, no, tempo. No. Yeah. <gasps> Dressed yeah. as the characters from Gilligan's oh Island. Oh my god, or you could do it. <laughs> and you could do it in your screamo <laughs> voice. <laughs> That'll be it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's <laughs> great. Please thank Hillary Duff, Dave Grohl, Carly Hansen's here when we come back, everybody. All right, you've been listening to.